Buffalo is becoming a more and more powerful tool each year. And in this video, we're gonna showcase five new features you need to test in 2024. Let's dive in. Localization. There were a lot of tools, even before Webflow released localization, that were capable of adding multi-language to Webflow. The problem was, they were slowing down the website, they were clunky to manage, and they had a lot of bugs. With the release of localization, Webflow integrated all of those functionalities natively in the platform for the same cost like all of the other platforms, or maybe even less. And the thing is, as we work with a lot of really big companies, Webflow made something which was previously really really complex and really technical, available completely with no code. We'll be transitioning all of our clients to Webflow localization and here's why. The first thing we had problems previously is controlling the CMS per locale. With a Webflow localization, you're going to be able to publish blog posts in maybe Spanish and not publish them in English. Then we're going to be able to translate URL slugs directly into Webflow. And also we're going to be able to publish automatic sitemaps. This was sort of possible with other platforms, but the process of getting to that was really hard and there were steps that could be missed. So that's why this is gonna allow a lot more SEO capabilities of Webflow across multiple languages. We're gonna be able to also integrate with third-party machine power translation tools. Some of the companies we work with, which are enterprises and commit to big businesses, have a third-party provider which provides all of the machine translations for their company. So because of this, we're gonna be able to integrate, for example, with Localize and use their machine learning and machine translation into Webflow directly. And the final, and like maybe a small fun part, is it was always a pain to design a nice style selector for multiple languages. We're gonna be more than happy to do some really fun things with selecting your language when you land on a website. Many of these were huge bottlenecks for our customers, as we have a lot of clients from France, Spain, Germany, and in those areas, usually everybody has at least three or four languages. So being able to do this directly in Webflow for, in my opinion, a really fair price is something you should watch on in 2024. Branching. There is a popular saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And I believe it's the same for Webflow. Before the branching feature, only a single person could develop a website in Webflow. And if you want to go ahead and build something fast, of course, you're going to crank out a 16 hour workday and get everything done. But on a long enough time horizon, that's just not going to be scalable. So by releasing the branching feature, Webflow allowed us to go ahead and have multiple people develop at the same time, change different items, create different branches and have a fully custom workflow like you would have in any other custom development practice. And as we felt this on our own skin on many different projects, this allowed us to launch a new service at the studio called Speed of Light Builds. Because of that, we're able to develop websites by adding five, six developers at the same time in a project and crank out a three months of work of a project into a single month. If you're working as an agency or if you're an enterprise client, branching is something you should definitely check out and is completely worth the price in our opinion. Webflow apps. I like comparing Webflow to Apple when it comes to security and the way they build their product. And why? Instead of launching an open source apps platform, which might have allowed a lot more people to develop new features, but it would also add a lot more security vulnerabilities for Webflow, they decided to go more for an invite only approach. We were one of the agencies that were invited to go ahead and launch a, an app on the Webflow apps marketplace. And I can say that whatever you feel Webflow is missing is slowly gonna be substituted with the apps marketplace and the apps people are gonna be launching there. And even on our side, as part of this closed group, we were the ones to launch one of the first apps of the marketplace. And you can go ahead and visit the marketplace and download DataGoat completely for free today and also explore all of the other apps which are gonna allow you to further boost your Webflow development design and growth process. Variables and components. Updating global styles on Webflow before variables was more like playing a detective game because there was always that single place where you didn't use the class in a proper way and in the end, you leave that completely forgotten. Now, with variables, you can have full flexibility like you would have in React development. And because of that, you can set up custom CSS variables and update the website from a single core set of variables across every single page. 
And of course, if you're a designer like we are a little bit, you can create black and white sections really easily without just a flip post switch or even whole black and white website features with just using Vaplow variables. And down the line, you're also going to be able to connect your Vaplow project directly to your Figma variables that you can scale that much faster. If you want to see how we do it, you can go ahead and visit the Flow Ninja Resource Center and view our new style guide where we go over how we use variables on a day-to-day -day basis. Scalability. One of the biggest questions that I get on sales calls at our studio Fall Ninja is Webflow actually going to be scalable for our business. And with the recent updates, I can rest assured every single client that is going to be as scalable as you want it to be. At the moment, Webflow increased the base pages from 100 to 150. So even if you are not a non-enterprise user, you're going to be able to leverage those additional 50 pages to develop more into a single project. But if you choose the enterprise plan, that can go up to 500 at the moment, which was a big game changer for some of the big accounts that we have at our studio. Additionally, you can go ahead and go to 100,000 plus CMS items. And we currently do have one client which has 70,000 plus CMS items in their Webflow build. And I can say that we had some incredible programmatic SEO successes together with them by leveraging Webflow as a CMS and also integrating their API into the CMS itself. So I can say that as Webflow is scaling their feature set a lot more and their technology on the back end, that it's going to be a platform that more and more bigger companies are going to go to in 2024. That's why I believe you should fully unlock your growth in 2024 by choosing Webflow as your platform for design, development, and growth. Hope you're excited with using these features as much as we are. Bear in mind that these are just the new features that Webflow just released. And in order to use them properly, you're going to need to have proper strategies. And that's exactly why we recorded a free webinar showcasing nine proven strategies that we use for our clients to help them grow better with Webflow.